Blessed be and love and light, everyone. I apologize for the terrible lighting. I'm pretty much just working off a of natural light that's in my bedroom. And, of course, the light above my head here. Um, anyway, um, I'm making a video for you guys. Um, I wanted to do a recent haul video for you guys. Um, I wanted to stock up on some supplies. And I, um, I'm starting to get together my witchy space, which is my room for right now. Um, when I do move out... Um, because I'm saving up for a new place right now. I plan on having a specific room for all my witchy activities and stuff. Um, but for now, it's my bedroom. And I wanted to show you guys, like, my journey with this, with my path, and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, um, this is my first time doing anything like this. So, I'm just going to move right in. And, um, if you want to see all the things I, um... That I've accumulated um, and how I've organized these things to make it practical and all these things I'm getting ready um, for with my practice then feel free to keep watching. Now just to let you guys know I did buy quite a bit of stuff from online and lo at my local um, stores. Um, I have some receipts and I wrote down some prices on a separate sheet of paper so I'm going to be referring back to this a lot. I'm hoping this is not too long of a video but no promises. Okay so the first thing I wanted to say is I ordered a ton of stuff on Amazon to be completely real. This was one of them. I freaking love this movie, you guys. It was eleven eleven on Amazon, $11.11. I had to get it. It's the special edition. I've always watched it on YouTube and online, but I've never actually owned the movie. So I wanted to get a copy of that. So that's one of the things I've got. And remember, this is also um, not just a haul video, but me showing you guys my space. So I'm just going to do a quick run through. Um, this is where I keep my calendars and stuff. And this is where I keep my jewelry. But I actually wanted to keep these bags here close to my altar. Um, I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Um, these are just a bag of candles that I want to use up first. Um, candles are not burned down all the way. So I have them in here, so it's used first. And then I have some tag logs in the next bag of people, you know, for a sympathetic magic from, from friends, myself, and yada yada. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the things on the windowsill first, and then I'll go to um, the actual altar itself, because as you can see, um, my altar is actually set up on my dresser right now, and the dresser is right here on my, um, right here close to the window, so I put some things on the windowsill to kind of make it not as cluttered, because obviously the space on the top dresser, of course, is, isn't going to carry all of that stuff, so... Um, when I do have my own actual witchy room, I plan on getting, like, an actual table, like a dining table type of thing, so I can just have all my shit there, but, okay. Um, this is just a little vial of sea salt. Um, this is what's new. I bought some acrylic paint, um, for craft and projects. This is the actual pigmentation. They're really, really pigmented, great freaking quality acrylic paint. Um, it's not a large amount. Um, that they give you this. Oh, I'm not supposed to go there. Um, that acrylic paint I got off of Amazon. Um, I've used it to um, paint on the inside covers of my Book of Shadows, and I plan on using other crafting projects with it. It was exactly um, $19.97 on Amazon. Definitely worth it. It has great um, pigmentation and great quality, so I highly recommend it. Now, I wanted to stock up on candles. I put, I bought a whole bunch of candles, and I decided to, um, to put them in these, um, jars that I got from Dollar Deals, the dollar store. They were only two bucks. They came with lids and stuff, but I keep the lids separately over there on the other side of my altar, just because, um, since I have so much candles stocked up on top, I can't really put the lid on to where it'll close, so I just put them somewhere else, but... I put the I, I put the candles in here. These are just the longer, um, the tall, longer ones, the tapered candles. These are the elemental colors, and then these are like the other colors. I got two sets of each color in those, and this is just a book I've always had, the Vitamin Bible. I referred to it a lot. 
um, this is what's new. Um, as you can see, um, the stuff that I got, I'm really trying to keep it organized and practical because I really need a practical altar. Um, this is basically the same exact jar of this, but a little bit smaller. I could use it to keep my charcoal in it for when I make black salt or just use the charcoal in general. Um, and this is another, this is a mason jar. Um, it has a whole bunch of, it has two sets of the, of every single color, including silver and gold, as you can see, um, in the smaller size candles. So I have two sets of those. So I have four sets of candles in two different sizes. So in this box right here, this is where I keep my tea lights. I kind of keep them all together like that. So that's right there. Now, I bought these candles, um, all the all those little candles from um, my local store, Kindred Spirit. These taller um, chime candles were um, 65 cents, and then the smaller ones were like 48 cents. So, that's where I got them. And then I also got um, some incense um, sticks from Kindred Spirit as well. Um, I got like 10 sticks of each and they're only like um I don't know like 10 cents five cents or so, so, something like that for each stick so I got like a dollar worth or whatever I got frankincense and mayor blend and then I got a sandalwood so I have that in there um I also picked up on Amazon this dragon's blood ink now I love dragon's blood its properties and when I realized that they had um dragon's blood ink I really wanted to use it for my um, my book of shadows, my grimoire, I wanted to write my book blessing with this, so I bought this. If you're wondering how much it was, I'm gonna look right now. Um, it was five dollars and ninety five cents. It's totally worth it. Now, when you buy it, you have to realize you need um, something to obviously dip inside this ink because it doesn't come with anything to write with. So separately. I had to pay for a dip pen. Um, they had quills online, but I work better with these. I work with quills in the past, and it just isn't good. You literally just um, take the tip. Sorry, I'm trying to let it focus, but basically you take the tip, and you dip it, and you just write. Um, don't put too much pressure. It's a little bit different writing with these, but it's amazing. The dip pens itself was actually very inexpensive. It was only $2.73. It came with two black candles. Um, two of these black candles, because it comes separately. And then it comes with the tips. So the dip pen comes with these different um, tips that you can insert inside the black handles of the very tip top of them. Um, you directly just pull them out and it came with one, two, three, four, five. So five different tips. Um, this was the best, the best length um, and handle combination that I found that I could use to work well with the ink and to actually physically write. Um, it turned out pretty well. I don't regret it. I love it. I actually plan on writing some spells and some other things in my book shadows with that Dragon's Blood ink. Um, and you honestly um, don't even need to use a lot. It goes a long way, so I like that. Alright, and then of course I have my um, my dragon statue. I showed that in a previous video, but I did also get that off of Amazon, and it was $12.20. So, I love it a lot. Um, and then I have my pictures of, um, important people to me that I incorporate into my practice. Now, these three little vowels, I recently, um, got at separate times, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to experiment with essential oils. So, um, I have peppermint oil. The labeling is kind of messed up because I actually use that one the most. Um, I got some Dragon's Blood Oil. I actually got this off of Etsy, not Amazon. It was the only place I could find true potent Dragon's Blood. Um, that's what it said on the um, ad. Um, it was like $5.95. It was definitely worth it. It's a very small dram bottle, but... Um, this is like for only really, really important stuff for me. I plan on getting probably some more, but, um, I got some lavender essential oil. I wanted to get some basic ones that I could use for like multiple things. So, um, I recently got the statue. This was free because it was my mom. She gave it to me. Um, 
I put this on my altar to remind me of my spirit guide. So that's what that represents to me. Um, obviously, with the paint, I decided to get some acrylic um, brushes. I mean, brushes for my acrylic paint. These paint brushes are nylon, and they're $3.19, and they come in a set of, like, 10 brushes. And then I got this mason jar. It actually came with the lid, but I took um, the middle part out, and it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, I do a lot of crafting, so, I, of course, I have some paint, and um, that's some super glue, because you never know. I also decided um, to get some stuff at the thrift store when it came to, like, bottles. Um, I got some glass jars and bottles and stuff like that so I can actually um, put some of the shit that I bought offline. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got, what I put inside these bottles. Um, this bottle was from the thrift store, like I said. Um, it was literally two dollars um inside here i've made i started making black salt so that's that um this is just a box for my ring that my boyfriend gave me i just put that on top of there now this white powder is amazing um it's called Vesta Powder. I'm surprised most people don't even know about it. Um, this is the actual label that comes with it. Um, it. I kept it on this so I could show you guys what the label looks like. Because it literally only comes in um, a see-through baggie, um, the white powder, and then it has this label. That's all you can see. So I kept the label so y'all can see what it looks like online. Um, the Vesta Powder was $10.94 for a whole pound. Um, the whole pound of powder did not fit of course in this jar so I put some of it in that one but basically this is what the label says to drive away evil um, place half of a, tea, a teaspoon of powder in an incense burner or your cauldron and light it with a long match this powder will explode with a quick flame and a fog of smoke fumes will quickly dispel any bad vibrations or influence this is mainly known to honor the goddess Vesta. I don't use it for that reason, because it's also, um, I use it for its, um, boosting spells, properties, and your intent with fire magic and all that stuff. You literally only put, like, a pinch of this shit, and it goes, poof, the fire. It's, like, so Hollywood and so amazing and awesome. I plan on using it in the future with every spell I plan on doing, just to kind of boost what I'm doing, so I'm so happy I got that. Um, I've always had this sage. I do use kitchen spices in my work. Okay. Um, this is some Dragon's Blood Resin Chunks. Um, they were out at my local shop at Kindred Spirit, which is normally like $5.95, 6 bucks. So I had to resort to buying online. Um, online on Amazon, it was Dragon's Blood for an ounce of chunks. It was $8.85, and it comes with... Two more chunks than this, and they're pretty decent size. I don't regret it. They also have a powdered, um, already um, broken down, grounded up version on Amazon as well. That was only a few bucks more. I think if you want to get that, then I say get that. This is where I keep my full moon charge consecrated water in. So I have that. And this is where I keep more tea lights. And then these are those um, lids to those... Um, those two jars right there with all the candles. And then this is just a little cup I use. Um, I don't care if it gets dirty. Um, when I go painting, I just put the, um, you know, my water in here and wash my brushes. So that's just there for that. Now it's time for the actual table. Well, dresser. Um, this is where I keep my salt, my extra salt. That's, of course, a little ball of it. But this is where... Most of it is. It's just iodine salt. You can use kosher salt or sea salt. It doesn't really matter. It's just your preference. I was running low on this one, so I had to, of course, buy another one. And then what was sitting on top of it is this little uh, sewing kit. I got it at the Dollar Tree, so of course it was only a dollar. I plan on doing some crafting projects, and of course I could possibly even use these pins for poppets and other type stuff, so I'm excited to use that. Um, these are just some, um, candles and some candle holders. Um, I also, I also got these from the Dollar Tree a little bit back, and, um, I love it. So, now, right here next to my salt, 
is where I keep some chalk, sidewalk chalk. Um, you can get this anywhere. I use this to draw pentagrams or some notes and stuff like that during ritual. Um, and these are little baggies. Um, I actually went on Amazon and bought like 10, li 10 little mini bottles. They're like um, three quarters of an inch tall. They're really, really tiny and mini, but I've been using them for um, making witch bottles and little gifts and stuff like that. And then this is a um, the official shell I use to snuff my candles. So I say if you don't have an official um, snuffer, I opt for shells all the time. And I love it. Um, and then also these little tiny bottles. If you're wondering how much they are, but they're only um, let's see, I'm looking on my paper, you guys. Um, they were four ninety nine for ten bottles. That wasn't that bad. Uh, and they also came with these little tiny screw on things. So if you want to make them into charms for bracelets or little trinkets or whatever, you can do that. And I just keep that all in here. Alright, and this is my bell. Um, I also bought a whole bunch of different gem chips. I kept them in this just so they're not everywhere on my altar. So I'm going to take them out um, and show you guys what I mean. So these are all the gem chips. They came in these little baggies. I kind of rolled them up. Um, they're only a dollar, two dollars for each uh, pack, depending on the type of gem chips you got. I got these for the little tiny bottles that I bought, and if I plan on also making witch, um, witch balls, you know, witch ornaments and all that stuff. This is Tiger's Eye. I wanted to get uh, some chips of that, so that's Tiger's Eye. Um, this is Amethyst. I got two things of Amethyst, as you can see. I connect with that the most, so I want to get two bags of it. This is Citrine. Oh, I love that color. The camera really doesn't do it justice. So that's what's really sad. Um, this is Emerald. It's the green color. And then I also got some Aquamarine. So, sorry. You can, yeah, there, you can kind of see it. So, I got those. I'm going to put them back and then... Continue on with the video. Alright, this is, of course, my incense burner. Um, I've had them here forever. It's just there. Um, chime candle. Another candle. This is where... Let me move this box. Try to keep as organized as possible. Um, this is where... This is like my little divination center. Um, I keep my oracle cards. I have some white um, sage in here. Some incense cones. I um, also usually keep my pendulum, but I've been wearing it recently so I could charge it. Okay, so I just took it off. It usually is here. This is what it looks like. Um, with the gem chips, it actually came with this quartz crystal. And I decided to put it into this um, gem cage. So that's what it looks like. I'm trying to let it focus. There we go. So I've been wearing that, but I'll usually just keep it here with my cards. These are not oracle cards or tarot cards. They're just regular playing deck cards. I practice caromancy, so that's what that's there for. Alright, and then here's that little offering bowl I've made. I think I showed you guys that. But just in case I didn't, I made it out of a flour salt dough mix recipe. And then I carved out the toothpick, like the center and stuff. Um, also on Amazon, I decided to get this pestle and mortar. It's so freaking cute. It has the Celtic knot in it. It was small enough for my altar. It literally fits in the size of my palm, which I think is awesome. Um, this... Let's see. It was $9.99, so I think it was worth it. I've already started using it to make my black salt and crush up some dragon's blood resin that I got. So, I've already been using this, baby. Um, and then this is where I keep my stones. I'm going to actually move this. Um, so... With those gem chips, it came with this little cute baggie that says healing crystals, so I just kept that on here. This is a little um, 
plate bowl thing I've got from the Dollar Tree. I would just use it to keep my stones in it. But this is my collection of stones. I have mostly amethyst in here because I freaking love amethyst. But that's what holds my stones. There we go. Aren't they beautiful? I'm really just trying to build my collection with stuff. And this is an amethyst pyramid, which I've actually started recently working with and I feel great amazing energy. I'm thinking about making a video um, once I start to experiment more with this but this thing is fantastic. Alright and this is just a little baggie um, that I keep my um, gems in when I'm on the go. And then this is where I keep all my witchy projects. So this is um, a talisman um, amulet that I'm making my boyfriend at the moment. It's a gem cage with four different stones in it. I'm not going to say what they are because I'm still doing something with it. But he likes gold so I decided to make the wire cage gold. And then these are the little tiny bottles that I bought. Um, I've used them up. This is a Power Talisman one, and I made some other ones for my friends. So, I sealed it with um, candle wax for um, to seal my intent, and can't wait to give these little babies up. Um, and then I also went to the Dollar Tree, and I decided to get this spray bottle, because I thought of a great way. Um, if you can't smudge... Um, your place in, with um, incense and smoke and all that stuff. Um, definitely recommend taking your concentrated um, full moon charged water and putting it in a bottle and just spray around. It's perfect. It's smokeless. It's not going to interfere with any landlords um, complaining or anything like that. So I started doing that to cleanse my space and myself and other stuff and it works beautifully. So, and you can also use this for like, you know, if you want to make a protection spray, using oil blends and herbs and all that stuff, you could definitely do that. Um, but for the most part, that's what my altar is. I try to keep a jar for everything or a place for everything because I, as you could tell, I don't have much room. Um, if you're wondering what this ugly looking thing is, this is a measuring cup. A really, really old measuring cup. Right now it has my incense ash in it. Um, I use this to actually burn herbs and stuff. This is basically like my ghetto mini cauldron. Um, it's made out of some metal material. I don't know if it's cast iron, but it's very thick and durable, and it doesn't burn, like, it hasn't burned through the bottom or anything like that, so. That's what I use for now, for a cauldron, since I don't, since I'm waiting on my next paycheck to buy one, so the next time I have an ultra video, it should be on here, so I'm very excited. Um, another thing I got, the video's not over, um, I actually went to the thrift store and got these wind chimes. They're of the sun and moon. They look kind of old and like that ancient look. So I loved it and decided to put it over my altar. Um, as opposed to being outside. So I love that. And then I also off of Amazon I got this beautiful tapestry. Um, it's a zodiac slash um, astrological design. I freaking love it. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to tell you guys how much it was. I got it off of Amazon. Um, it fits pretty well on my wall. It takes up most of the wall. It's a pretty good size. Um, it was... $9.83. So that's amazing. It's definitely worth it. I'm thinking about getting another, another thing and putting it right over here. Above my bed. So that is my ultra space as you can see and then that's a canvas for um, when I paint so yeah that's what it looks like I can't wait to expand more but I'm gonna end this video so it's not too long and I'm gonna shoot another video <laughs> on something else so stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little haul slash update video for you guys all right, well, blessed be and love and light.